Hello, and welcome to another episode of I Have Notes. Uh, this is the show where people with a surprisingly large IMDb playlist, playlist? Page. Uh, talk about, you know, the arts. Uh, we talk about creativity. Um, sometimes we talk about, oh, I don't know, TikToks we've seen. Uh, I'm Carrie Shawcross. With me is my lovely co-host. I'm Isa. I'm a lovely co-host. Yeah. Yeah. And joining us are Aaron and Jordan yet again. Hello. Howdy, howdy. Hey. 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 We haven't kicked so, you out yet, but you're also not allowed to be co-hosts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm already being, we, we I'm on my way out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for the video watchers. I'm in the process of moving. You, yeah, you look, you look like, I guess I know now, but you, you look like you're either moving in or moving out. I'm moving uh, out. You look, I mean, it's still, I like your wreath. These, <laughs> Thanks, it's not the, a wreath. It's a mirror. Uh, I like, I like Close your enough. mirror wreath. Mirror wreath. It likes it's, you too. Thank it's you. It's what oh, it's what I've decided it is now. Sometimes you have to just decide that hey, this is what I wanted to be, and now it's a fucking wreath. This you have to true. commit. Uh, hey y'all, I didn't. Adoption. I couldn't fall asleep last night, so today is today's a weird day. Oh, oh no! Uh, I, I have been sleeping great. Wow! Well, I don't Drag know about why. it. Fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Which that I, was me. Why couldn't you sleep, Carrie? Uh. Uh, well, I mean, the real answer. Okay, there's two answers. Mm. the The real answer is, boy, do you need to take your ADHD medication earlier than uh, eleven o'clock in the morning? Oh my god! In the morning. In the morning. Okay. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 God. No. 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 This isn't college. Um, <laughs> but uh, the other answer is like I uh, I was like tired at like eleven thirty at night, and I was like I could probably fall asleep. Let me let me play a video game for just a little bit, and Ooh, then I end up playing for up. like two hours. Nope, uh, can't do that. That's the opposite of like training your brain to fall asleep. That's yeah. like not what you're supposed to do. Part Shut of my up. ritual, <laughs> my ritual now is I turn off all screens at eleven thirty midnight ish, and then I'll draw for like in my sketchbook for about an hour or two, uh, and that helps me like wind there down. You go. Got to get time, rid of that blue light. What time do you wake yeah. up? What time do I wake up? Yeah uh hopefully before work <laughs> nice nice uh, i, I aim Aaron. aim for nine it usually ends up being like 9 30. yeah and then oh get on my at 10. yeah no i live uh dangerously even even I when we were going seven. into the studio that was oh that yeah was Aaron's life <laughs> and that's the oh, benefit yeah. of where i'm living right now i live like five minutes away so oh, yeah. don't yeah. come find me i jordan i i'm gonna i'm gonna like i woke up at 9 50 and rolled over in my bed and joined my 10 o'clock meeting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a night person. Like I, I, I tried like... to switch so much, but every time it's like 10 o'clock comes around, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm feeling creative or productive now. Mm -hmm. I have found that sleeping in kind of triggers migraines for me, which I think is oh. weird. Oh. But I mean, I just solve it by waking up at seven. Um, <laughs> Feeling tired and just like, wake up, idiots. I, <laughs> I just choose I not like, to be tired. I also like, I, I feel like it's a body rhythm thing too, where like yeah. I don't set an alarm. I just like naturally wake Whoa. up at that time. And mm -hmm. it's like at the end of a REM cycle. So going back to sleep and then like sleeping for 45 minutes would just make me sleepier. So it's every, every, I just wake up every fucking morning. I have a conversation <laughs> with myself where I say, Carrie, you woke up at 7.30, just get up. Just wake up. There you go. And That's Jordan, what you need to do. I don't. And it's been months <laughs> since I did. And every time I go to sleep for another like 45 to an hour, and then I feel like garbage. Oh my God. And yeah. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm salty at myself today. That's, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what really... else to tell you other than listen to yourself, Carrie. It's I'm true. I'm stupid. <laughs> um <laughs> sorry i got off on like a hey a i think it's relevant pseudo aggressive like. tangent i definitely the blue light thing is very very true and yeah. i continue to get uh okay hey i have notes on oh, the yourself? nintendo switch oh okay uh, -oh. uh, -oh. uh hey hey y'all i need that 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 warm light mode on my nintendo oh. switch because true i would like even even like let's say i cut off at 11 30 I'm going to play up until that point. So let me let my eyes get adjusted. 
I don't want to like. Interesting. Oh, maybe I have like a red gel I could use to like put over <laughs> to this. Put one. over your. See, I was just thinking red like, gel. Yeah, I, yeah. I was yeah. going through the the no. thought process. Of, <laughs> can they can they like add that feature with a? Oh. There you go. Um, can they add that feature with a patch? But I think it might be a hardware problem. Yeah. Like, uh, do they have like the lights? That's a good question. I, unless into the switch, or is it just a thing of like shifting like the pixels, like you know the hue of the individual pixels? I think it's just that because it's, you know any yeah. computer can get like flux on it. Yeah, that's and true. Your any monitor yeah. has not it a too. hardware thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then my second thing was just going to be put some red goo over it or whatever. Oh, well, hey, so. I got that red goo. I'm yeah. like a, red goo. <laughs> like a, one of those like cereal box toys that's like has the hidden mystery. Oh, nice. <laughs> You're one half of three. I, <laughs> yeah. oh, I got a blue one. Don't you worry. Hey, dog, I got you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> put them in your glasses. Do it. Hey, you know what this looks hey. like? Shit. I can't see anything. <laughs> Uh, well, hey, I like this routine that we started. Uh, how was everybody's? How was everybody's week? I keep adjusting my light. I'm sorry. Oh, Issa, that's distracting. No, I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm an Tell amateur. Tell the light to <laughs> stop. Okay, well, Issa, yeah, Issa goes first. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say because Carrie, you started about how um, you couldn't sleep, and I was just thinking earlier today how I was like, man, I feel like I always come in and I have some kind of weight on my shoulders, and it's like, oh, you guys always <laughs> see me at my worst or something. Um, my hey, week this is. This is your time. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Group my therapy week was session. okay, but today I think I kind of like um, I explained to my roommate where I was like, you know how you feel like you're on top of things and you were so productive for three days, and then you realize you don't want responsibilities for the next seven days, and it's yeah. never even, you know. <laughs> um, that's where I'm at. I'm like at the first of seven days, and I was like so productive for like the first five hours today, and then I kind of just hit this wall where I was like, I wonder if it's that time of the month for me or if I'm hungry or there's so many different things where I'm kind of just like, why do I suddenly feel like I don't want to uh, work anymore? I guess. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't, how I go about it. I don't have a, that time of the month, but I also have that feeling. So <laughs> at least on that side. Time of the month. Yeah. <laughs> that's <scary> side, yeah. <laughs> so that's me. That's, I mean, I get in that too, where it's like, uh, you get like over a, a hump or something and it's like, ah, yes. And then it's like, oh, other responsibilities, but I just put so much time and effort into this thing. Yeah. Now I don't really feel like giving that same to this. Um, you gotta take breaks. But, yeah. <gasps> take a day off or something. What does Maggie say every day in Scrum? <laughs> You have to check Make your sure. mental health and your body health, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Your physical and mental well-being. Yes. I, I'm i thinking about it. I was like, oh, I talked about it. I was like, maybe I'll just I'll just take it easy tomorrow. It's fine. I've been and playing look. Tetris 99. Hey, hey Issa. Okay. Who's going to know? Who's going to know if you take some time off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> we can cut this part out, but... <laughs> but... I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> no, be responsible. Don't, hey, Issa, hey. Don't, Issa, don't joke around about that. Yeah, yeah, Carrie, don't joke around about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it makes y'all feel better, <laughs> last week, usually Mondays through Wednesdays are my busiest week, uh, days of the week, just because most of my meetings are in those three days. Yeah. Wednesday, uh, we have our art review for the art department. And, uh, Definitely after that review, I was like, mm, nope, I've hit my threshold for today. I've <laughs> run out of patience. Uh, I'm going to take the rest of the day off. And I did. And it was lovely. Yeah. Sometimes, there you, go. you know, hopefully, you know, we, yeah, we're very fortunate in like our, our work's letting us, you know, do stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. sometimes it takes, we actually, this is just kind of like a side tangent, but like, yeah, like our, our art reviews shifted a lot for this volume. Mm -hmm. And actually I do like it a lot, but it does put a lot of pressure on Wednesday yeah <laughs> um basically we, we went from having like two or three smaller art reviews throughout the week um which was hard to do because we wanted as much as possible to get all of the episode directors in them oh. so you know if we're talking about you know uh something in chapter five well maybe connor's directing that episode but 
it's an art asset that involves something in chapter six as well, which Paul is doing. And then I want to know about it because like I'm in charge of like the show as a whole. So right. we want to have all of the directors there as much as possible, but it was harder to do. So we said, okay, well, we'll just have like a three hour long art review <laughs> Man. Yeah. once a week. And it's working really well. Like mm -hmm. we're able to get everybody in. Like there's been very few times where we like couldn't get a director in. And, you know, it seems like that and a couple like Slack messages here and there, like the artist can keep moving. Um, but I can totally understand, Aaron, how you have yeah. meeting. You're just like, I'm and good, y'all. Losing That's patience. That's a long meeting. Yeah not, yeah, not because of like any particular person. No, it's no, just no, no, no. a very long process. It uh, is, yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, three hours of carefully reviewing a ton of assets. Um, yeah. So, man. I mean, for, for my, my number one thing has always been working without a break is what like kills uh, me yeah like mm -hmm. i i could you know i uh, we we're certainly not doing this anymore at all um but like i've definitely found that having meetings back to back from like 10 to 6 or it used to be like later that was more stressful to me than working like 100 hour work weeks like mm -hmm. doing compositing just like by myself at a desk mm -hmm. you know like just because it's like you're like constantly moving from thing to thing to thing and like when yeah, i was you're putting more energy into it yeah. right versus like huh i'm gonna take 10 minutes and go on a walk right now yeah mm -hmm. yeah plus right. you're interacting with other people so that's always draining for me anyways again S a very same. introverted person <laughs> i feel yeah. like I'm, I'm a very loud introverted person but uh the more time with people i spend like i definitely like I lose am. my energy fizzles out yeah yeah it burns it you. burns out faster yeah yeah i feel like we are four introverted people that are in like an extroverted job kind <laughs> of. there there was a discussion on that um a while ago about how like uh the onus on creatives to be on social media is actually really fit it's very uh oh. it's so fatiguing yeah. is that a word yeah um, it is now <laughs> It, it requires so much energy and also the fact that it's like it is intrinsically where we are, what we are doing. It does involve a lot of people who do think inwardly or appreciate mm -hmm. that kind of stuff because that's kind of what we have to do in order to do our jobs. But then you're also expected to um, perform. And mm -hmm. that is a very outside thing as opposed to an inward thing. So it, it it's like... I think that part of the discourse was like, "Hey, can can people like be nice to creative people? Just be, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of that like, would, changing. That it's, would be amazing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just be nice, guys. Yeah, yeah. It's always great when you like tweet something, either personal or like something that just doesn't have to do with work, and then all the replies are like, uh, this has nothing to do with uh, your sole purpose on this earth, which is to create things for me.' Yeah. yeah. So it's, yeah, oh, okay." It's, it's a struggle sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I'm also, I, I, I hate social media now. Like I, I feel very burned out on it and pessimistic, you know, mm. and like social media does have its benefits, but yeah, at the same time, like having to almost like constantly remind the audience that you exist or like, you know, like mm -hmm. the people who are following oh, you, it's like, yeah. Hey, I'm still here. Like, it, it's it sucks because the things we work on take time to make and so it's not like a live action or like weekly like series mm -hmm. you know constantly that's coming out or like airing or something right. so it's like it's mostly behind the scenes stuff and then you know for 12 16 weeks or whatever here it is and then back to working on it mm -hmm. so it's you know it's hard to like constantly remind everyone that you're here <laughs> i guess <laughs> yeah i've seen a lot of comments um like left on youtube uh a lot of them saying oh my gosh carrie's still here carrie's <laughs> alive i'm like who do you think it's has like been Carrie working on left. the show for the whole freaking year <laughs> yeah it's it's a balance yeah it's uh right now we're um you know we're we're, we're we've started doing this which has been this is much more relaxed yeah. um there's not really uh, I'm sure as you, you, there's no way you could tell, but we don't really prep for this show. <laughs> um, yeah, you can't say that. <laughs> but you know, we, we're, you know, I just like, we just announced we're doing the talk Kirby to me show. Uh, you know, we're working on volume eight. Like there's a, this, the next two weeks you're going to see tired Carrie. Aww. Um, it's not even like, I'm not working extra hours. I'm just like, 
a lot. There's a lot. Mentally um, tired. But it's it's about that distri- distribution mm-hmm. of energy, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's all exciting. So it's like it's just weird. Like I think I talked about this last week where it's like I I'm very happy to be doing all of it. Um it just might take an extra couple of Red Bulls Come to, here, cat. to get there. <gasps> Do we have a special guest? Special I'm guest. trying to get her. Well, pick her up. Get her. Pick her she up. ran away. Oh, <laughs> what a disap oh man. Sorry, that was guys. such a ramp up at the <laughs> I can get up and chase her if you want. She'll probably just keep running. Do, do we have rights to Benny Hill music? <laughs> that happens all the time. Like, I'll be downstairs and, like, be like, oh, hey, you want to get picked up? And then, like, the moment I'm about to, like, pick her up, she's like, no, she, no. like, kind of yells and runs. So she's like, meow, 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 and runs away. She so we always, like, pretend, like, yeah, she's going, no, never. <laughs> she turns into jello. So my cats too. Yeah. yeah. Somehow they're yeah. even more like squirmy when I'm about to pick them up. I've had a lot. I had to lock my cats away for these. Uh, I started doing I know, that. I'm yeah. sorry. Mine's there was one really week... good. They're either like sleeping or like they'll like walk around. But she was being vocal, so I thought she wanted to be picked up or yeah. something. Uh-huh. Sometimes my cats they'll start meowing when they hear me talking. So in a lot of my meetings, oh, like I like just now. Yeah. I heard that heard one. That. Yep. Yeah, I heard that uh, one. Yeah, they'll start like meowing. Oh, um, and I think a week or two ago, uh, one of the cats was about to throw up a hairball. So I was like, mm, don't want that on camera. <laughs> well... or anything. Or we could get a special camera just for that. Cat cam. Oh. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that. <laughs> hey, y'all want to talk about some animation stuff? Okay. <gasps> oh, you oh, run! Never Wait, mind. No, Just never kidding. Mind. Let's talk about the cat. <laughs> we have Let's more important things cat. to talk about. Oh, oh my goodness! My Please tell oh. me their life story. This is Viola. What is she her was... job at RT Animation? Uh, she's she's an animator. She does <laughs> she does she doesn't animate, but we just call her an animator. I love it. <laughs> oh, Jello! Bye. She ran away. <laughs> I just saw two eyes. <laughs> oh man, one of our other cat has started like uh, we have these like um, little cubbies um, that we got from like Target. So it's like a shelf, and mm-hmm. like there's just little like fabric cubes that you put in, Cute. and uh, they like scratching them and stuff, which is fine. It's like. It's they're a little old and we want to get rid of them, so we just let them have it. But um, one of them started hiding in it, uh, so he like there was like just enough space open, and he like crawled in and like uh, my wife was one day like trying to like look for something in one of the cubes, and she's like, "What is this?" And like <laughs> she looked in and all he saw like his like green eyes <laughs> in the darkness. <laughs> So cute. Jordan's all curled up in it. Having a black cat too, like how often do you find yourself like you like you leave a room and then a cat comes out from that same room that you were in and you're like, the cat was you were in there? Where the fuck did the cat come (laughs) from? Oh my god, that's so funny. I mostly see dark like shapes or something and be like is that a cat is no it's it's dirty laundry or, <laughs> it's like a cat? sleep paralysis no. demon <laughs> yes my nightmares dirty laundry the sleep paralysis demon <laughs> same thing same thing that's really funny uh hey on the animation front the popeye movie maybe actually happening oh hey yeah that's after great. Like, six oh, yeah. years he says nervously and hoping maybe um <laughs> were you looking forward to it carrie i mean i like i like tartakovsky yeah yeah and... i mean i'm not like a popeye fan yeah i mean who is uh, <laughs> the people who like spinach yeah <laughs> Jordan, do you... i do like spinach i don't know if i want to support big spinach <laughs> Big greens. I, mean, Big I, greens. I guess I guess what I'm saying is I don't mind Popeye. Like yeah. but I'm not going out of my way to find that good Popeye content. Yes. <laughs> but I do like is it still I'm looking at the article right now. Is it still Sony Pictures doing it's it? It's not. It's okay. Somebody else that hopefully is listening to the article. So it oh, said King Features. So yeah. King Features, yeah. Um that one was interesting i was looking them up as i was googling the article and like all the sources and stuff like who's king features they're the ones who i believe own the license for popeyes oh okay yeah okay. so um they've been make like... sure you don't have that possessive s because popeyes is something different sorry yeah you're right yeah, <laughs> my, bad. my bad don't want to confuse that now, if there is a link i might be more interested in popeye <laughs> uh because if they do like a spicy chicken sandwich promotion <laughs> 
<laughs> with spinach. With so, spinach. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Healthy chicken. Healthy chicken. It's just like one leaf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's baby spinach instead of regular spinach. So has 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 King Features done anything else? Did they do the live action Popeye movie with Robin Williams? Wait, there's a live action Popeye's <laughs> movie? Is that real? <laughs> You guys have never seen that? No. no. It was like, I want to say it was like the 80s or something. It might have been Robin Williams' first uh, feature. Whoa. But he played Popeye. I and I that. believe they gave him forearm prosthetics so that he could have the giant forearms. Wait, and you're telling me that... I thought you were going to say forearms. <laughs> like you're telling, that definitely has held up, right? Like if you watch it now, you're, you're just like, wow. Oh, it's like Jurassic Park of how good it is. If I send a picture of this to Stab, can you can y'all put this up? <laughs> or if not, maybe we can do it in post because I kind of need everyone to see this. Yeah. Okay. okay. Put it up in the uh, chat. Back vamp up. while I while I look this up. Um, I hey, know of that movie only if only because I think I've watched a lot of video essays where they cover like Robin Williams's history and animation, oh. and this Popeye movie tends to be like the first foray that he has for animation adaptation. Interesting. Hmm, okay, like the first thing connecting him to animation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is this is pre flubber. That's kind of how I uh, <laughs> how I track things is uh, is PF and PF P <laughs> um, before flubber after after flubber. Yeah. PF, PF. No, it, it, it's it's very important to me that it's PF and PF. Um, but you notice I say the second the PF a little bit different because um, that's right. post. Oh yeah. Ah, cool. Exactly. Yeah, it makes sense. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> So this came out in 1980. Okay. Um, the Stone Age. I wasn't made, out yet. <laughs> yeah. It made six million dollars on a budget of twenty. Ooh, six million dollars. Oh, sorry, that was six million dollars. It's opening weekend. Oh, oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe. So it did okay. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay. You said it was 1980. Yeah. Man, look at those prosthetics. It's Robin Williams and Shelley Duvall as Olive Oil. Oh, perfect. Not directed by Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with with inflation, so look at this production company, King King Features Entertainment was one of the production companies. Okay, okay. Uh, with with inflation, that's eighteen million. <laughs> that's still not great. It's not. No, <laughs> that's kind of what I was trying to highlight there. <laughs> um, is that there's still a little bit of room, but I got nothing. Uh, I mean, okay. like I think I think it could be good. So. I, so Go the ahead. most interesting thing besides Tarkovsky uh being the director because I'll watch anything he does pretty much yeah. like um but he ha the there was like a test or a little teaser that they had released yeah that's that really right. got me interested in it because like the animation style was awesome mm -hmm. and it yeah. really wasn't like anything he had like done in all of his 2d work I think this was this came out before the Hotel Transylvania movies oh, yeah this which was 2014 you can, you, I think you can kind of see some of that stuff in those movies um talking about the uh compared to the test yeah but um I feel like I don't know like those the character designs are like also like funny and lanky and like mm -hmm. they really take advantage of that with like the the way they animate them so I I just want to see it because I think it'll just be a fun like character animation yeah yeah definitely. I will say if you if you look at like the the still that's in this article or if you just look at like this test, I don't know how well I'm gonna do with his big forearm going into his hand. <laughs> it, it does just look like a little chubby baby. Oh God! Uh, he does look so. I mean, I'm. It's it's just like, boy, huh? Okay. Yeah, I mean, look, I can. There's no tattoo. <gasps> there's no tat scandal. Breaking I, news. Maybe I have this notes. is um, a breaking the prequel. Reason. The thing from 2014 or whatever the fuck doesn't have the tattoo on it. It's a prequel. It's true. That is I a wonder We're going to learn why he gets the tattoo and how. <gasps> That's a good yeah, That's right, censorship, go. and I'm against that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Carrie, you said something, and I'm going to be turned into a segue. So when you said you wouldn't go out of your way, was it you, Carrie, or was it Jordan? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it might have been Jordan. If it was smart, it was me. If it wasn't, it was Jordan. Oh, nice. There's nothing, Jordan, there's nothing. Men. Real quick, They're Jordan. Basically the same. Nothing to do with you. Just, just everything Jordan. to do with your lack of self esteem. Guys. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Hundred percent, hundred p. Need constant v validation, constant. <laughs> um, 
uh, someone said they weren't going to go out of their way to go and watch it just because it's Popeye. Um, Scoop <laughs> came out. Scoop. Ah. I, oh, this was you trying to segue. Yes, I mentioned yeah. that. Yes. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> and I don't know if anyone else in this room really will deliberately go out of their way to watch Scooby-Doo content. No, not at all. Never. Uh, um, hey, let me check real quick. Uh, okay, yeah, it's 2020. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are the um, Harlem, Harlem Globetrotters in it? That's no. the flow chart. No, if it's this... yes, I'll watch it. No, <laughs> I won't. Hang on, real quick. Positivity. Personally, I'm not interested in the Scooby-Doo story anymore. Uh, as a near uh, 40-year-old man, <laughs> um, but i like i like scooby-doo i liked scooby-doo growing up and the idea of a new generation of children knowing scoob and their antics that sounds great i'm not against scooby i think it's okay to say something's not for you anymore yes that's valid is that um, your point i'm sorry <laughs> the scoop movies out i watched like the first 20 15 20 minutes of it how was that um, that's, all, that's all you could stomach uh well i stopped because jordan, i realized jordan? i had this jordan Positive. <laughs> i stopped because i realized i had to work and not watch this movie um and that's so fair. my other history with scooby-doo is i would watch it a lot when i was younger but mm -hmm. also on the mm -hmm. other hand i was also forced to watch it to an extent because i would watch scooby-doo because it was the only thing i liked watching when uh, I was in my grandparents' house in the Philippines and you only had so many channels and Cartoon Network during the daytime wasn't playing like premier cartoons. They since weren't playing the good stuff. They, they weren't were playing, playing Scooby-Doo. Yeah, they were playing Scooby-Doo. And so I and, actually like, watched- bananas in pajamas and- Yes. Don't you and... ever- Jordan, oh. don't you- <laughs> Jordan, don't you ever talk shit about bananas in pajamas. <laughs> I will- I will break quarantine and come to your house. <laughs> just so he could also point and be like, why are you talking? Well, why I didn't say anything talking? bad about it. I was just saying it's You said it was not premium stuff. content. <laughs> um, Issa said not premium You're saying content. the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> bananas in pajamas. Bananas gonna... in pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I have a side tangent, but Issa, I want you to finish your story. I'm sorry. Um, I had to scold Jordan. <laughs> It, so I, I have a history of, and I've also watched um, some of the other, one of the newer uh, Scooby-Doo shows, and I genuinely thought it was really funny before I dropped because it was like, why do I watch cable television anymore? Hint, I don't. So I watched the first cable? 15, 20 minutes of the movie, and uh, it was basically some of the exposition. Um, you saw how the kids met, and the movie mm -hmm. was really centering on Shaggy and Scooby-Doo. And then they became adults. And fun fact, Simon Cowell makes an appearance in it, only they don't cartoonize him. They legit make a 3D model that looks like Simon Cowell if he was in a video game and they mo-capped him. They 3D um, scanned him. Uh, yeah. So, so you're saying he looked more realistic yes than the other character than the other character yeah there's some yeah. screenshots of it floating around it's it's wild so it is um, wild it the the whole premise of it is that simon cowell is their business partner and he wants to invest in mystery inc because he believes that the gang has it only he will only invest if they get rid of shaggy and scooby-doo because they're useless so um <laughs> the the premise now is like oh that's the point of this movie is kind of reiterating um and reaffirming who shaggy and scooby-doo are in this scooby-doo universe never mind the fact that the whole entire series is named after this dog this darn dog <laughs> um and this meddling dog this meddling dog uh and i was like okay that's that's actually kind of an interesting like um meta i guess foray into kind of exploring why shaggy and scooby-doo are part of this universe even though it seems like fred velma and daphne are kind of the um the ones that everyone really remembers because they're always like made out to be the attractive ones um I, I i stopped then uh the movie and i was like okay maybe i'll pick this up later but i i just wanted to throw that out there i was like oh and part of the reason why i want to bring it up was because there is some really interesting animation right at the intro of the movie um when right at this bat young scooby is stealing from um uh from a store because uh, he's a stray dog 
And so he's stealing meat because he's trying to survive. Because he's hard. Because he's <laughs> he's a hard boy. <laughs> you know, you know, classic Scooby. He's a hard boy. Got a hard time. I don't know why that broke easily. The way <laughs> she was thinking naughty things. That's not I'm what I meant. I'm so hard to understand why. Um, <laughs> The animation at the beginning was very interesting, super cartoony, what you would expect from like a Gundy Tart uh Tart how do you pronounce his name? Tart Tart just Tartar sauce. Just say tart and then Tartaka sounds and then end with ski. Tart off Tartakabag Tart uh I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um call him uh Gendy Dexter's Lab. Gendy Dexter's Lab. Uh what you'd expect from Gendy Dexter's Lab um new movies. Uh, but I'm also wondering whether or not, um, they, I thought it was interesting, but then I thought what really was like the movie that really made waves for a bigger audience to that, for them to be more familiarized with a new way of animating since primarily it's always like this Pixar style or this Mm, Disney 3D style. And my first thought was, oh, the Lego movie. Mm. Sure. Um, That's actually, that's a, that's a good, like tracing it to its like deepest roots because my first reaction was into the spider verse Mm. right that's what i was gonna say i was was gonna say um the peanuts movie or charlie brown yeah yeah yeah. so that's even like that's like almost almost 2d but it's like most definitely 3d like you never see the characters from like the front Mm -hmm. yeah they do like the the, the mickey mouse thing with like the ears yeah they're always the goku hair (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah valid valid (laughs) So, oh, yeah, man, what would happen if if Mickey Mouse went Super Saiyan? Then okay, I'm sorry. That's is there a funny. comic for that? There's probably a comic for that though. Type There's, in Mickey Mouse uh, Super Saiyan. I'm sure it exists. Yeah, uh, but uh, <laughs> add uh, add rule thirty four, please. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, add rule. Th- what? 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 Are, serious question. Why thirty four? What? What are rules one through thirty three? Is that your yeah. question? Yeah, there are. There are there, yeah, there are rules. I just don't know what they are off the top yeah. of my head. What the? F- okay. You're asking the right two people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Other <laughs> Jordan, I'm, I'm always going to fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> Someday we'll get it. At the fucking beginning of this thing, I was like, am my co host? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that, Carrie. I was just like, oh. Uh, <laughs> Your listeners are going to be very confused. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm stupid. That was, uh, that was the thing. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> uh, it's, it's funny. Not a I, joke, uh, it's Carrie Smart. I saw something. This is kind of related to what we're talking about, but I saw something on, uh, I think it was Reddit the internet um, that I thought was a really interesting concept is remakes and remasters are very big right now. Um, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of people have different opinions of like, you know, whether we should be doing them or not. I'm typically, Mm -hmm, I'm, I'm a fan of them. Um, But somebody brought up a good point is what if, what would be the thing you'd like to see remastered or remade, but not just remaking the property, but maybe remaking it from another character's point of view. Oh, so like an example of something question. kind of already like that, it wasn't a remake, is like the Ender's Game series. There's like books that are from Ender's perspective, but then there's books that are from like, I His can't remember, sisters, like, right? in like Bean or whatever this character's yeah, name that's was. Right, right. Yeah. Bean? I think his name's Bean, right? Did you read the Beam book, Beam or Bean? Bean, as bean. in like tiny like Bean. Pinto. Okay, okay. Bean. <laughs> I think Beans? his name is Beans. <laughs> yeah, like even Stevens. There's a full minute of us game. trying to say Beans. <laughs> Google Beans? search, autofill, Ender's Game Bean Book. <laughs> bean. Yeah, so like, you know, is there is there is there something that you would like to see remade or or kind of like touched again, but from like a completely different point of view so i guess like yeah i mean and, and i guess like to a degree like the scoob movie sounds like it's almost kind of like that where it's like it's yeah a, it's like you're saying it's a bigger focus on you know obviously he's he's been the the titular character but scooby right versus the the other the three gang. fuckers yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, i was always i was always a big scooby and shaggy fan i like i didn't the care what the other fuckers. ones the other ones are just being horny elsewhere <laughs> I was also very big into Scrappy because I was always very short. So I like oh. the idea of like, oh, yeah. You just he... reminded me of Scrappy. Uh, I forgot he You're existed. welcome. That just oh. reminded me of the live action Scooby-Doo movie with Scrappy. 
spoilers oh yeah well, that reminds right. me <laughs> of uh godzuki from the godzilla animated show <laughs> yes so he as was example, the scrappy do of godzilla oh my what, god what, oh what my if we god. got a what if we got a godzuki remake <laughs> i'd be about that how come godzuki wasn't in any of these uh remakes of uh godzilla the one with brian cranston where he actually uh Oh, no, no. So this is, um, did you see uh, Shin Godzilla? Yeah. At like 30 minutes in, you can see him in like the bottom right corner of the frame. Oh my God. Are you, yeah. you're, you're pulling my leg. I can't. We're, we're <laughs> across the internet. <laughs> <laughs> that does remind me though, Carrie, you mentioned, oh mentioning there's like remakes or uh, things done from a different perspective. Yeah. Um, the Twilight series did release the Midnight Sun, which is the oh, Twilight boy. series, but from Edward's point of view. So that's very relevant. Oh, it's the whole like series from his point of view. I think so because it's only one book. I thought it was though. a prequel. I thought it was, was it a prequel? prequel? I think I thought it was from his point of view, but I could be wrong. I think it's from his point of view. Twilight I, might. I ain't be... googling it. I'm not gonna <laughs> ruin my Google history. Twilight <laughs> might be the largest franchise that I I don't know anything about. That's fine, Carrie. I'm coming Same. up on 45, and I just like I feel like it's not. <laughs> Carrie, what is this? It's not good for me. I start getting heartburn a lot more, and it's making me feel older. <laughs> You just had a birthday a couple of weeks ago. Happy yeah. Birthday. And an anniversary. Happy anniversary. We don't we don't have to talk about that. Uh, Carrie, how long have you been at the is, company for? See, this is why Carrie is feeling old. He had a birthday where he probably turned, I don't know, 28, 29. <laughs> here's oh okay. My God. Here's, what nice. Oh, you're yeah, ancient. Here's here's what's fucking me up right now, y'all. Okay. Tell, tell it to us. I'm 29 years old. Okay. Uh last a couple days ago from when we recorded this uh last week from when you're hearing this uh i celebrated my my 10th anniversary starting as an intern mm. um also shout out to mike who's uh who's in broadcast who celebrated his fourth on the same day Woo. um i have been at this company for more than a third of my life oh my god <laughs> oh and that is what messed me up that's not, not that that's, bad that's it's not, not a bad thing it's not bad but it's it's just wigging me out. <laughs> okay. It's like when you hear it's like I think there was a thing of uh, I think Cleopatra was born closer to the iPod being invented than the tower than the pyramids going up. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Seriously, there like, al also a thing where like the Ottoman Empire existed less than a hundred years ago. Stop. Yeah, yeah it's like there's Stop. some like weird things like that. <laughs> um, <his> <laughs> oh uh uh uh. Adolf Hitler and uh no 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 I'm sorry it was Martin Luther King and um oh, and Frank know. and Frank were have the same birthday yeah they were born in the same year the same year yes it's just like that just like messes my perception of time yeah. I was like yep. they as far as like, I was you don't think of them as like contemporaries or parallel no. in the same yeah not even a little bit yeah there's some there's some weird stuff like that I think I think Betty White's older than Hitler would have been or something like there's there's another one with Betty White She's just a treasure. Sorry, I watched a lot she of Golden is. Girls She's growing up. <laughs> um, uh, as the good place would call it, time is just Jeremy Bear Me. Yeah, there you go. Is that show? I watched the first two seasons. Is it good still? Oh yeah, it yeah. finished. It's it's good all the way through. Yeah. Heck yeah! All right, the finale is great. Uh, I have yet to watch season four because it's not on Netflix yet. So, oh, classic. <laughs> Please hurry. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep making sad faces. <laughs> I was the just looking at you. I was waiting just... for you. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about something that I thought of way earlier. Uh... <laughs> okay. Carrie, mm. <laughs> okay. spit it out so okay. we can. Okay, move you on. know. Okay, you know how there's furries and there's scalies. Oh my yes, the furries are back. What it? What about what? the bananas what, and pajamas? What about the bananas and pajamas? <gasps> Fruit what is teas? It, what is that called? Fruit teas. What do they have? They have, I guess they have a. They have a peel, a, but it's like peelies? apples have skin. I like so peelies. The same thing. Yeah, peelies make sense. Yeah, I guess so. It's the opposite of heelys. Instead of like wheels on your shoes, it's <laughs> banana peels, and you just slip <laughs> all the time. <laughs> well, anyways, no, no matter what it is, I'm not that. I promise. Uh, I never thought about those 
pajamas. Which one's cuter, <laughs> the left one or the right one? Uh oh god, I was no, I don't even know. Is, is that their name? Left one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they don't, yeah. They don't have names. Lefty and righty. <laughs> They're fucking woody shoes. Um Isa, do, written on their asses. Isa, do we have any questions? <laughs> we do have a question. <laughs> we have a question in the topic that Is people it... have brought up either on the website, YouTube, Twitter. Um, and we brought a couple that we could potentially answer. Uh, let's pull it up right now. Yeah. And, and and of course, we'll only maybe answer. We might just say only next. maybe. Yeah. Okay, so that nerd in a tie is asked. What are your thoughts on iteration in the creative process? That is, how do you know when to leave a creative product finished and when to go back and redo something? Ooh, Ooh we remake. Kind of, we started touching this on uh, last week. But yes. Yeah. We kind of just skimmed over it. Yeah. I it mean... was last week. We kind of mentioned it's like at, at the end of the day, it was kind of just we had deadlines to. Mm. Uh, we had deadlines to take care of. So if it's done, then that's when they say it's done. It's as done as it can be. There's a couple of different schools of thought on this where it's like, there's things that compete, which is like, is it, does, is it broken? Like, mm, oh yes. <laughs> is there something about yes. this visually that is like, doesn't work? Yeah. If not, you can go on to the next thing, which is like, does it make sense? <laughs> yeah. I guess and if then, it checks like, off all your little boxes. Yeah. yeah. And then I guess third is like, are you as happy as you can be to like put this out in the world? Yeah. Like, I mean, there you will don't always, always get be... to that third box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, I almost feel like on top of that, like, that's like bare minimum. But then like, there are layers on top of that one where it's like, is this like, the full vision that I had mm -hmm. when I like uh, started like coming up with this idea and like you know my cat has ideas about, about that <laughs> as well. Has notes. Oh. <laughs> I yeah I kind of a similar or like the I look at it very similarly. I think like the 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 way the slight difference is like when it comes to like is it broken? I typically I try to ask myself is it going to take the audience out of it? Yeah, because um, mm -hmm. sometimes like broken can be different things like. You know, if in a, a, a comp, for example, if like if two layers are slightly misaligned, yeah, but you can't tell without yeah. knowing, like if you just watch it once and you can't tell, well, then it's broken, but I don't think it's gonna take the audience out of it. So let's not worry about that if we don't have time and let's mm -hmm. focus on this thing mm -hmm. that I do think is like, like you're saying, like visually broken. Mm -hmm. um, because I also think that uh, like you kind of need a cutoff because if you can work on it forever, you will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and that's not the, good. Yeah. The real thing is like, what do you constitute finished? You right. know? Yeah. Like, what is that definition for you? Like, some artists will say it's finished when I think it's perfect, uh, perfect uh, um, representation of like my vision and what I had uh, had in mind. And then right. other people will say like, it doesn't match what I was thinking, but I mean, look how good it is through the power of collaboration and the creative mm -hmm. process. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. it's it's different for everyone, I guess. Yeah, like that first one you mentioned about how your vision had, like, oh, it's not done until it's perfect. Then, then you get the movie Cats. Yeah, <laughs> we don't talk well, about cats, but they took the buttholes out. So, yeah. it <laughs> what's the point in watching? It was no buttholes. <laughs> I yeah, I feel like. No. Or, and I don't know if y'all have ever experienced this, but I, I sometimes I feel like part of directing is basically saying, when is it good enough? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, when you, because yeah. I, I think it's really hard for, and I don't, I don't mean to say that in that, like, we're constantly just like, oh yeah, this is fine. Just move on. But it's yeah. like, oh, this is the bare minimum crap we can show. <laughs> right. But it's, it's not, like, it's not that. <laughs> hey, the deadline's coming up. What are the things we need to prioritize? And what are the things that can, like, if we don't get to, it's okay. And I think a lot of times it's hard for, I mean, it's not easy either. Like I mess it up a lot, but it's, it's a lot harder when you're the artist working on it to let it go with flaws because it almost feels like a reflection on you. Mm -hmm. Right. When I think, yeah, that's kind of like the director's job. A lot of times is to say like, Hey, we all know it's not perfect. If you had more time, I know you could make it perfect. Yeah. We don't have more time. So I think this is good. Let's go with it. I um, think. And having that, that burden. Yeah. 
because like i think if you end up spending too much time then you'll have something like here's another example um square enix and uh kingdom hearts 3 or the final fantasy 7 remake or final fantasy 15 it's just this constant like these series or these games where it's these people who um there's new technology that comes out and because maybe they wanted to take advantage of it they had to quickly like pivot into learning about this new technology like Mm -hmm. new engine and then trying that out and doing a lot more tests but the more you like um how do i put it i i guess it is it is time you know the more that you spend time on something the more the world keeps turning Mm -hmm. and all these new trends all these new things you can't really you you can't ever hmm it's tough (laughs) it's yeah well it's it's better to get it out there even if it's not perfect and then just work on it forever and then have somebody either do the same idea or have the idea not be relevant anymore or Mm -hmm. yeah get so you know technologically surpassed that it's like not worth it anymore and then on top of that like when you're spinning your wheels you're you know that's you're going through your budget that you know every one of one of the most uh eye-opening like statements from someone who has a lot of experience like said was um every time you look at something it costs money Mm -hmm. so like it's like when you review it and you decide oh this needs to change you've just wrote a check basically like everyone's time you know um thankfully it's someone else's money (laughs) (laughs) but also like we're we're thinking we're thinking about this in a very TV, like serial kind of way mm-hmm. where like, that's true. We, we got to keep going kind of thing. We're like, you know, like the way our pipelines work and um, the most efficient way to do things is like, you, we have some like going back and polishing built in, but we also just need to like, make sure people are tasked and moving forward on the next thing, mm-hmm. you know, kind of keeping the, the treadmill kind of running. Um, where I think like features in movies is I hate to say the word crafted because that might imply that what we do isn't, but like you have more mm. time to do that kind of polish and craft. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, I think it's a, uh, I said all this being said, oh, I would love to do features so badly, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's an intentional trade-off that I think is worth it and it makes them different is that, yeah, yeah. You get, all that said about about you know tv or or you know uh serialized stuff it's like you get more content out of it and that's kind of the point, yeah. yeah you know is that you're you're okay saying hey i'm gonna lower the bar a little bit but get more out of it yeah it's a versus- it's just a different mindset yeah and where then, it's like it's marathon versus sprint because i feel right. like mm-hmm. um maybe it's a little bit of both because like, like i can see marathon race. and sprint yeah, applying yeah, okay. yeah yeah it's really more like nice. a relay race that's yeah. actually way better where yeah. it's like you're going to do your part and you got to hand it off to the next bit mm-hmm. uh next person yeah. so that they can go on with you know you've handed them the baton aka the concept art and they're on the, they're going to uh model and rig it and then they hand theirs off to the animator and then they hand theirs off to editing and then they hand theirs off yeah. to pose like and yeah it, it, it's become crazy though i mean like the I think there's a there's a genuine spot for both and it's just been amazing to see over the last you know couple decades especially but like i said the last decade of like how much tv has caught up to movies mm, yeah mm-hmm. uh in terms yeah. of that quality yeah and we're and, like yeah people expect the same quality yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and and you know it's it's becoming possible with certain things to get there you know especially if you have a more like realistic show it's like well let's just use the same cameras and yep. you know yeah have you know it'll take us a little bit longer but we can still get it done and you know it, it will be different it still won't be there but to a lot of people it'll be it'll be about the same mm-hmm. yeah um people probably for the most part don't even notice or realize the like kind of like budget or like i guess like the more polish you can do in a movie versus um mm-hmm. a tv show probably because they are so close and also like the especially in live action to the untrained eye or the casual viewer they're just like it's just uh it's just media i'm consuming it right yeah right yeah most people aren't artists so you'd be surprised with what you can get away with sometimes yeah (laughs) (laughs) which i mean you know yeah all of this to be said like you know when we're talking about like getting away with stuff or, or like you know being like okay with something it all comes down to to then give the thing that needs it the most polish yeah definitely yeah you know it's Mm -hmm. it's it's about Hey, we've got ten shots due. 
all of them could use something, but these two shots are the most important. So let's give them the attention. And these yeah. other eight, let's just fix like one of the two things because it won't break immersion. So it's all, it's all, it's all balancing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because the answer to the question is it depends. <laughs> <laughs> there was a question. <laughs> uh fun fun ending uh fact note that i have for people who tend to ask like what they if if we have if i specifically am looking for something in a portfolio even if it's like art or concept art um wanted to go throw it back to aaron uh who mentioned it. it's like a relay race and you have to kind of just pass it down um all your work and stuff i like looking for finished work uh mm -hmm. if you have something in there and it's and it looks unfinished then i'm going to be a bit more um let's put let's just put it out there i might be a bit more judgmental about it i would sure. rather see especially if it's concept art um or production art specifically i would I, I would like to see stuff that is finished because then then i know if you're a person on or if you're a member on a team you can um put that quality out and mm. make sure that the next person who's down the line will be able to take what you have and utilize it in its most finished form yeah definitely yeah. I can see like um, going off of that, like finished concepts, but also concepts that are easily readable um, mm -hmm. to other people because uh, you're going to pass this on to other artists and they're going to have to interpret your work. Yeah. Uh, and if it's not uh, clear, say it's like a character, if it's not like, say they're like a, po like it's a pose design, only one front view, um, that's not going to be as nearly as helpful as like, uh, like a four uh sided turnaround or more yeah. mm -hmm. um and like an a pose or something mm -hmm. so yeah there's definitely i think a lot of people confuse illustration and concept art a lot um yeah. so just going off of that <laughs> so don't so yeah. don't yeah. Yeah. so don't i want to see <laughs> concepts in your concept portfolio not illustrations they are nice <laughs> but totally different skill sets yeah yeah it yeah. all depends on what you're going in for yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's good it's good kind of to to both of what y'all talking about, it's good to have a little bit of everything. Yeah, you know, it's it's good to know. It's good, like I, I kind of used to what you're talking about. Is like I like seeing the finished product because that lets me know that you can follow through. I also like seeing the, the ideation process. that went yeah. into it and seeing like yeah. here's the four silhouettes I started with, and then here's the final product that came out. Yeah, with. definitely. Yeah, um, but but without one without the other doesn't tell the whole story of yeah, how definitely. you got there. And then that is like not quite as unless it's just like really cool. And then yeah, you know, <laughs> I always tell our concept artists like give the next artist as much much information you can like within mm. your deadline. Mm. I yeah. think that's always like a good yeah give a give good them starting everything point they need. for all your checkpoints. Yeah, like yeah. what you need to hit in that concept or whatever you're working on animation, etc. Heck yeah, that was good note, that, guys. Th that was an episode, right? <laughs> we did it. We did it. Yay, we did it. Hey, everybody. <laughs> thank you again so much. I got my energy back now. It's here. I can feel it. Thank <laughs> you last, so much. You look like you're minutes. doing a spirit bomb. Give yeah. him his energy. The, the bana <gasps> bananas and pajamas. They've blessed us. <laughs> yeah. Do they? I'm going to look for figures of bananas and pajamas. After this. Uh, <laughs> Just so you thank can you all send it to Jordan. For No, for myself, my shrine. Oh, sorry, I mean, my shelf. <laughs> uh, thank you all for watching, for listening to I Have Notes. Um, we... I'm not, I don't want to start begging yet, but we would love it if you would share it with a friend. Um, maybe uh, if you see it on Twitter, do a little retweet. Um, we just like to get it out there more. Um, everybody's been super, super nice about feedback on it. And a lot of people seem to really like it, which makes us feel warm and happy and goes back to that constant validation that I need. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you have, if you, if you like it and, and feel like it, it'd be cool to, if you share it. Um, and Carrie, yeah. I just remembered something I need to talk about. Uh -oh. oh boy, go for it. So, I figured like one of the one of the benefits of this podcast is having a platform to like give updates and stuff, and like um, you know, just like on on projects and other stuff we're doing. I wanted to talk about um, since we've started doing more live action stuff like this, um, we've been struggling to find a place for it to go on uh, on roosterteeth.com. Mm -hmm. um but we also wanted at the same time we were thinking about like uh starting like for our personality driven stuff like um and you're talking about the, the, word... the animation department 
yeah i don't want to use the word brand but like something for <laughs> something named for it to live under yes. so um we threw around some ideas for names and stuff and we came up uh well first we listed like all of the values we hold near and dear and what we think uh, <laughs> we the animation embodies um but we came up with the name select all so mm. you're gonna start seeing you may have already started to see um videos go on our youtube channel with uh uh that logo in the corner it's a control a um that's the logo for the show um so yeah anything like uh the top tier shows we've been doing uh debates uh bites cover all the fun like just us like hanging out goofing doing f goofing around about like the things we love that's going under select all and as part of that like uh inclusivity was one of uh uh the uh tenets I ideals of uh, yeah that we wanted to exhibit um so we thought like you know select all would be a good name to embody that but we are also yeah. doing print on demand uh select all pride shirts oh, it's gonna be our first piece of merch i haven't heard about this yeah <laughs> so it'll be it'll be that cool control a logo i really like the control a because it's like it means select all and it can also mean like hit the animate button control a <laughs> yeah the magical <laughs> animate yeah, button for animate. <laughs> that my relatives think I do. <laughs> yes. So uh, be on the lookout for that uh, going up in the store soon. That sounds That's dope. the end of my spiel. Yay. We should make a, we should make a I have notes shirt. I, I can has notes shirt, please. I can, I can has notes. <laughs> we should, I can has notes. We should make has notes, the please? I have notes shirt and then we should make the I can, the has, I can notes has notes shirt. Notes. Well, you know. <laughs> We're not going to make the meme one before the non meme one. <laughs> We'll have a meeting about it. We'll have a meeting yeah, about yeah, it. Don't, yeah. don't worry. Leave don't comments still... about how much you want the I can has no shirt. I still want to make, make a. It. I still want to make a cat boy carry shirt. I also. I'm do also too. Kansas. Cat boys. <laughs> cat boys. We have we have that print on demand thing now. We can just like throw these ideas over to the the merch department. All cats. If All I could be maybe, a cat boy maybe and... Aaron shouldn't know that. <laughs> Because, like, she'll just make a design and throw it to them and be like... <laughs> Take it, please. They Thanks. said it was okay. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, if I could just commission Catboy me in banana and pajamas pajamas. Uh, I'm all I'm all set. The Catboy in the striped pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note... This is a really, really uh, different direction from what I was imagining. Thank you all for joining us. Send us questions and feedback and notes, and we'll see you next week. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.